Oh 
I'm gonna make it personal. I'll try you. I'll try you again. Come on, continue to sing. I'll try you again. I will. I'll try you again. I'll try you again. I'll try you again. Many of you, there's definitely some people in the room who are very close to giving up. Mm -hmm. And you've said to yourself, there has to be something else. There has to be more than this. And you thought really hard about trying something else. If that's you, you need to bow your heart to the Lord right now. Because he's inviting you sweetly. We'll try you again. I'll try you again. If that's you, begin to lift up your voice and sing it. I'll try you again. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. No other man will do. No relationship will do. No friendship will do. I'll try you again. I'll try you again. I will say. I will. Lift up your voice. No one else will do. I will give up on you, Jesus. I won't let go of you, Jesus. I'm holding on again. I'll try you again. I'll try you again. So, Father, we rededicate our hearts to you now. We rededicate our hearts to you again. We rededicate our hearts to you again. We dedicate our hearts to you again. Some of us even this week have tried old stuff. We went back to old stuff. We tried old things. Looking for satisfaction that we knew we would not find. We repent to you now, God. Bow our hearts to you again. We'll try you again. Hey, we make a decision. Oh, we make a decision to try you again. Hey. Come on, try him, try him. I know I'm supposed to move on, but some of you need to press into your try. We'll try you again, Papa. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. No matter what it 
looks like, no matter what it feels like, will try you again and again and again because you do not fail. We'll trust you again. We'll trust you again. Some of us believed in the lie that you would fail. We looked at our circumstances and we said you failed God. We repent right now. We trust you again. And again. And again. I promise y'all we're going to move. into this moment. Lord, where, where, where we feel like our, our try wasn't good enough, where we feel like our effort wasn't good enough, God, we just declare this morning that we have tasted and seen that the Lord is good and we enter into your faithfulness not only do we try you, not only do we trust you, but we enter into that place of your faithfulness. We enter into that place of the heavenly realm. We enter into that place, Father, and where we have been going back and forth, trying and slipping and trying and slipping. I just command your faith to be still. I command your faith to be unmovable. I command you to be unshakable. Lord, we just declare that we'll be oak trees that are planted, that are unmovable. I just declare to your spirit man even in this moment that it will not waver to and fro that you're being established as a son and a daughter that you will not have to try him to know that he is good because you will know how to rest in his goodness we just shift you in the place of his goodness in the dwelling place where you know that he is good because he is good because he is good and where our circumstances has caused us to believe a lie we just break it off even now and we take authority and we take our place in the goodness of God, in the faithfulness of God. We step into the realm even now. Come on. Take yourself into that realm. Step into that realm with your own grace, with your own effort. Declare I will not be moved out of this place. I will not have to try you again. Because I know that you are good. I know that you are faithful. Come on. Just come on.
no matter what it feels like, no matter what anybody is saying, because we have tasted and seen, we have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. I want you to taste God, that taste doesn't leave your mouth. Once you have tasted the goodness of God, so we step into that realm. And we say yes, God, we make a commitment now to try you again, to trust you again, but we go even beyond that. We declare that we will not be moved out of that place of trust, out of that place of faithfulness, out of that place of loyalty to you, God. You have proven yourself over and over and over. Over and over and over. It's like being in a relationship and be like, oh, well, it didn't work last time. Let's try it again. And the person has proved themselves over and over and over. Lord, we just step into that realm of maturity. I know this is a little bit of a rebuke. Oh, God, I'll try you again. No, stay in that place. Stay in that place that no other lies can convince you otherwise of your knowledge of who God is. We have to get the word in us so that we are unmovable and unshakable. And that was a prophetic song from the Lord. And it was an invitation. It's just an invitation into a place of dominion and a place of reigning. And so with this tribe, we enter in and we take authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to Legacy. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> we take our seat. We've been learning about it all month. We don't let anything move us out of our seat. Amen. Wow. What an amazing time. So good to see all of you. If we have any first-time guests, we would love for you to stand so that we can welcome you. Could you stand to your feet if you're a first-time guest? Anybody? Okay. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Shake hands, introduce yourself. Let's welcome our guests. While they're standing, if there's any second and third time guests, could you stand also? We would love to welcome you if you're here. Yes, we have one. Is that you, my brother? Let somebody give him a hug right there behind you. Bless you, sir. We're so glad that you're here. We have. Um, it's hard to move out of these moments, but we're going to try. <laughs> we have a wonderful presentation from our teens. Come on and give it up for the teens. They're going to present to us uh, about something they've been learning about that we all need to know about. So we're going to ask you guys to come on. We're so happy that you're here. Please direct your attention to our teens. Hi, Legacy. Well, my name is Taylor. Hi. Hi. And we're going to present to you today about cyberbullying and breast cancer because the month of October is the month that they bring awareness to the schools and the, all over the place. So I'll hand it to Tamaya. So I will be mainly focusing on bullying, cyberbullying, and things of that nature. So if um, this morning we're handing out different cards and pieces of paper that have information on it, uh, we have two other teams in the back that are handing out information. If you would like more information, um, see them in the back or raise your hand if you want information now. So um, basically, 28% uh, of students uh, to the ages of 12 to 18 are bullied at school during the, any time of year, especially now. Especially my gener our generation now, um, we are mainly on social media, online, 24-7, when we're not in school. Even when we're in school, we're in class, we're on Instagram, we're on Snapchat, things like that. But not y'all, right? No. <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, cyber bullying for females and males can be things of different nature, especially for females. Um, I can speak from experience that females like to exclude or they like to diminish or make fun of girls based on what they look like or what they wear. Boys mainly focus on um, physical bullying, which means pushing. Um, you know, any type of physical demeanor or harm can come to a boy when it comes to bullying. And bullying starts all the way from elementary school until people graduate. But statistics say that bullying happens most during the years, your three years of middle school, especially in sixth grade. It's, I don't know what it is about middle school. It's just that time where we're maturing and we're going through a lot of different things. So if you have kids in middle school, talk to them about what they're doing in school and what other kids are doing to them in school. So yeah. 
Um, so basically, I wanted to hit on a couple things in of cyberbullying, especially just because we're on our devices so much. It says about 75% of teens or other kids that go on websites are going on those websites to cyberbully other kids. Wow. So you might want to monitor their use every now and then. Just saying. Um, about 43% of kids have been bullied online. So at one time or another, and they still may be bullied now. So that's a big thing. And so girls are twice more likely to bully any other, any other gender, are twice more likely to bully kids online than males. So based on likes on Instagram, you can comment something, you can delete it, but it was still there at one point in time and it still hurts. So yeah, make sure you talk. And um, another big thing I really want to talk about is that you might have seen me wearing this. My school is really big on cyberbullying and other bullying things. So we all sign a petition during one of our classes and get one of these bracelets um, that really promotes bullying. So really talk to your kids' about schools. Bullying. Not bullying, oh, yeah. or about bullying, yeah. promoting it. So really talk to your kids' schools about whether they're teaching their kids about bullying or not. Because I know it's a really big thing for me. I sign it every year, and I make sure I sign it every year because it's such a big, big important thing to me. So thank you. So I just want to take a quick poll. Who believes men cannot get breast cancer? Just raise your hand. You guys smart. I like it. Okay. It's true. It's a myth. No, men can get breast cancer. Um, also, only women, like, women can get breast cancer, not even if it's in their DNA. It can happen. Another thing is... Um, you're never too young to get breast cancer. I mean, women that are like 21, they can get breast cancer. It's very possible. Over 250,000 women under 40 in the U.S. get breast cancer every year. About 2,190 men are going to get diagnosed with breast cancer this year. Breast cancer is really serious. It's, it's not just because it's in your family you're going to get it. It's a gene. And we have to take it very serious. There's so many things you can prevent it. You can exercise, drink less, know the signs, and be your own advocate. Make sure that you're your own doctor. You don't need to be an actual PhD. No, be your own doctor and watch what you eat, watch what you drink, take vitamins, take care of yourself. You don't need anyone else to tell you, oh, you need to do this. No, be your own advocate and take care of yourself. I also want to pray into this because, I mean, this is all so serious. Like, bullying, it caught, it's just, it's so sad nowadays that it's so much more access to bully people. Breast cancer, no one is not taking it serious anymore. They do all this awareness, but do they truly understand what breast cancer is? So, Lord, I just pray over these two things, Jesus, that you take care of us, Lord, that you are there with us. When they get diagnosed, Jesus, that they don't believe it, Lord. You tell them, no, I did not create you with breast cancer. I did not create you to get bullied, Lord. I pray that when they get this, Lord, they just feel this warm feeling in their heart. And, Lord, that they know that it's you right there next to them, Jesus, that you are that footprint they see in the sand, Lord. It's not their own footprint. It is you, Jesus. You are carrying them. Lord, and that they become a testimony. Like, Tamaya, I was a bull I was bullied once, but yet look where I am now. I'm standing here happy. Yeah. Lord, I pray over the people that have, bull um, have cancer in their um, in their history, Lord, that we break it and we do not we do not agree with it, Jesus. Yeah. That we pray against it, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not get breast cancer. I will not, I say, I will not receive breast cancer, Jesus. Lord, I pray for the survivors, Lord, that they may share their testimony, Jesus. That they say, look where I was. I was diagnosed with stage four, one, two, three, but I don't have it anymore. And it's because of my Jesus. Lord, thank you for loving us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for caring for us. Lord, you're just so sweet. Lord, you're just amazing, Lord. We love you so much and just thank you for caring for us, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on. Y'all can do so much better than that. Let's celebrate these teams. Incredible. God, we bless you. Wow. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. We have to remember how much courage it takes to come up here and do what they just did. 
We got to celebrate when they come up. Oh, my goodness. That was amazing. Did y'all learn something? I know that I did. My goodness. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. We're going to transition and have our announcements at this time. So please direct your attention to the screens.